afternoon. This is JD coming to you live from sunny Orlando, Florida. Hey, I wanted to make this video specifically as a tutorial to your video, Desmond, on, about uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms uh, 4 Wall of Fire. Um, and you played your scenario in this first um, December 189 and you picked Lu Bei. Um, I sent this video in another thread. Somebody was arguing uh, over the fact of using horses, but my video ended up being absolutely ter terrible, so I kind of refined my uh, recording techniques and I got a little bit, a little bit of a play-by-play -play here I want to give you. Um, not that it's relevant or take it for what it's worth, but I wanted to show you how easy you can get Yuan Shao out of the way um, and get yourself a nice little stable, small two and three cities uh, within a year's time to really branch out and, and make your game flow a lot easier. So we're going to pick Liu Bei. Uh, we're going to do everything that you did. I'm actually going to play on Advanced. And we're just gonna go go to it right here real quick um, and I'm gonna show you the power of using horses in as your foreign currency and how to quickly get Yuan Shao's much larger initial force dwindled down uh, basically to nothing so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna let yeah, we'll let these guys train. We'll let them train for seven months. That should get them up to a hundred. And I'm actually going to just throw a couple guys here on this. And I'll just give them a thousand. We're not really going to be building up our troop. We, we don't even really need a whole lot of it. We don't even need our popular support past 75. We're not going to be drafting. Really what we're going to be doing is just invading um, Yuan Shao's city of Nanpai here over and over and over again until he basically cannot cope with us anymore. It's kind of a dirty, rotten little trick, uh, but it uh, it works wonders. And I'm just going to breeze through it. You, you obviously know how to play the game. You conquered it, which was... Uh, I didn't watch every single episode, but I skimmed through almost every single one uh, in different variations. I was picking a couple of them uh, there at random. We're going to actually let Liu Bei spy. We'll let him spy for six months yeah that's fine I mean we're, we've got four officers to work from and we're doing a very targeted uh, destruction of his forces so it, it's pretty much just gonna be the same thing over and over again but, but we can get Yuan Shao out of the way in real short order and we're, we're spending our, our horses and we're only going to need infantry. He's not going to be able to ta attack anywhere but in a castle battle. And also sending the foreign tribes after him. He can't do anything for that month because he's uh, busy taking his guys. So we sent them one time already. And he starts out with uh, 36,500 troops. So already we've knocked out, what is that, 70 or 7,000 troops? And we've sent the tribes in again. And I don't think there's anything else we can do. Yeah, we're, we're training and... We're going we're gonna to work him over real quick. Well, basically, we're just going to send our guy, Jian Yong, because he's got the foreign skill over and over and over again until Yuan Shao has no troops, basically and it's going to be a, a cakewalk. And then we can also do the same thing up there for Gonzan Zan. Uh, and we'll have three cities in real short order. And we may end up moving out to Daijian 
uh, and waiting for Chow Yun to show up because he's going to be another key officer. Let's see what that second run with the tribes did. Yeah, 205. And his training's going to remain low, so he's not really going to have any chance. And uh, if you notice, I, I turned off the, um, the little intermediate videos. Yep, little by little, we're, we're just working him over. I'm not worried about picking up other officers. I'm not worried about anything like that right now because we're going to end up getting an, enough officers and generals and, and marshals uh, just by taking out Yuan Shao. That he, he's not going to be able to cope. So we should be ready in July to make that attack. And I'm just going to run right through this. Yeah, see, severe. Upper yellow, that's not us, good. Severe, he probably doesn't, yeah, he's got, we now have double his troops and we're higher trained. Do that again. And once it starts getting really low and we're getting close to our time, um, we may start doing that to Gong Zun Zan. Get his forces pretty low. He's just, there's nothing he can do. 12. I think that's low enough. Now we can start working on Gonzong Zan. Up here in Beiping. Because we'll have three cities that are going to be pretty out of the way of a, a lot of the early action by Dong Zhuo and Cao Cao. So we'll be able to build up our force pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, so Liu Bei is back. Still doesn't have a chance to do anything. 12 soldiers. Let's see, what's our training? Our training is 82. We actually have somebody in our city. Who is this? Tai Shitz, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and pick him up. We'll use Liu Bei. Hopefully we get him. Nope, didn't work. But we're going to stick to our plan here real quick of this uh, foreign tribe invading. Now obviously this, this doesn't work when you're in the central China area, but you'll be able to get yourself set up to the point where all gravy. So let's see. I think we should be ready to attack next month. Pretty sure. We're all trained up. Now I'm not spying in this area, but that's okay because even if he drafts, he's going to have such a hard time. We're going to go ahead and do this one more time. We're going to send Jian Yang. We're going to send him up to Beiping. We're actually going to take Liu Bei to war with us, and I'll show you why. And we're, we're just going to go, we're going to go right to war right now. Army, war. See, now they all have that infantry skill, and these guys have great lead and power. I mean, Liu Bei is uh, an average ruler um, at best, but that's fine. With Guan Yu and Chang Fei, we'll be able to crush it. We're going to take 5,000. 
and we're just we just put them in one unit. There's no reason to uh, spread it too thin because we're gonna try. They're gonna be all up on top of the castle wall. I, I'm I'm betting, and he's already trying to re retreat. A lot of his guys retreated. We caught, we captured a lot of them, but we're gonna sneak up this side. He's already retreating, so we're just gonna sneak right up the wall. He's gonna have no chance. He may end up retreating. We may have to chase him around for a couple months, but that's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. See, that's fine. Now, he's retreated, but, but we're going to go ahead and uh, attack him again next month, and the month after that, and the month after that. Let's try to pick up some of his guys here. We're already starting to uh, dig into his officer corps. Wen Chao, lovely. Uh, we probably won't get his sons. I'm just going to release them. And we're going to send Chen Chen, Chen Chen Chen. We'll just let him spy for six months because we're going to be running around here. fine. I don't think we can recruit. No. Who is that in this city, though? Chao Yun. He's going to come serve me. I hope so. So, his city is demoed already. We're going to make a quick save. I've already got quite a few different scenarios going, but we're just going to save over this old scenario. We're gonna see if we can get right in on. Uh, can I foreign? Nope. Yep. We get Chao Yun, Butimus. Now we can leave. Now we can leave Liu Bei in the city. We can go get the rest of his guys while we continue to work on Gong Sun Zan. And we're leaving ourselves pretty pretty wide open on our western front, but um, the reason that we're doing that is because uh, Han Fu at Yi and Kiao Ma here he doesn't really do those guys don't do anything. Kong Rong either they don't they don't do anything. They're not really aggressive. The guys we got to watch out for would be the Dong Zhuos, the Cao Cao's. Those are the guys we got to look out for. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take Guan Yu, Chao Yun, and Chang Fei. So we've got between them, you know, some really great scores. And we're going to take all of our troops. I don't even know why I'm taking the gold. We don't really even need it. We're not going to be doing any plots. This is just straight... Straight beat them up, you know? He may retreat to the other city, which is fine. Uh, he, if he goes to the other city, he'll literally have nowhere else to go, and then we'll just we'll just backtrack a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit harder to manage four cities right off the bat. And to be honest, the only reason I would have stayed in uh, Dai Jian, okay, I don't know what he's trying to do. The only reason we would have stayed there is so that we can get Chao Yun, but he actually moved his way up. He looks like he's trying to get a little cagey. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, he's just retreating all across the board. Okay, so within the next turn, he, he won't have anywhere to go. The only thing that may be a worry is if uh, Dong Zhuo decides he wants to attack, but he's uh, typically his first move is south against uh, Yuan Shu at Wan. Yeah, see, and we've now, we've now beaten Gong Zun Zan up as well, too. We're going to refuse that. But we're actually going to take one guy, and we're going to attack two ways this month, because I think we should be fine. Let's see here. 38. Ah, uh, we should be fine. 
but see here, not nine troops. I mean, come on. With no training, we're going to send Chang Fei down this way. We're going to give him, we'll give him 19. One thousand. Hand food's not even helping out here. I'm curious to see how long this is actually taking me. Okay, and we're just gonna go right for Yan Shao. Because once we capture the the ruler, it's over. That's it. And then we capture everybody else. I don't know how many of his guys we're going to actually be able to recruit, but that's fine. We'll just make them prisoners of war, and we will recruit them, even if it takes a little while. Uh, we'll still... And we've got a lot of guys that are going to really help us get our training up. We'll be able to draft quite a few troops and all of that in really short order. Uh, let's see what he says. Um, let's just see what happens. Okay, so he went bye-bye. We didn't kill him, which we don't need to kill him. We're gonna move. Let's see who's got some good loyalty to put in that city. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do this. We're gonna send Guan Yu. Nope, let's not listen to him. We're gonna send all of our troops. No gold. Nope, no vassal. Now, we may get the folk revolting in some of those other towns, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. We've got twice his troops here. His training is low. Our training is high. Our officer is better. And the guys around us, they don't really do anything, so we're going to be safe for a few months. Oh, we did it. Look at that. He didn't even have a chance to retreat. Beautiful. Hopefully we can recruit him. Oh, we can only release him. I wonder why we can't recruit him. But you know what? That's fine. We can just let him go. Because he's got no troops, he has no nothing. And we got everything we wanted. We got all his gold, all his grain. Maybe... Yeah, see. Quick, bold, decisive. We may have some of these uh, POWs. They may... Escape. Oh, they didn't escape. Good. Good, good. I like it. And we'll move back here. And we'll move back here. Now we've got 11,000 11, gold, 21,000 grain. We're in control of two cities. Now, our troops are only at 84, but if you, if you think about it, we only started with 100. So, and now we've got 400,000 population here and 370,000 population here. Let's see if we can recruit some of these guys. We're gonna try to recruit the guys who can recruit as well too. So let's see, uh, Tianfeng. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say with this particular video. Just a little quick uh, tidbit that, I don't know, if you ever want to pick the game up again and you want to restart in this scenario, here's a much quicker way to get going. I mean, we did this, we took out completely Yuan Shao and Gong Sun Zan, two guys 
with just using horses as foreign currency to get the tribes to invade. We started in December 189, it is November 190. We've got all their troops, or all their gold, all their officers, 116 horses now. Um, now we do have a lot of prisoners of war and it may take a little while to get all of them, but you know, hey, that's the breaks. I I'd rather start here. We got, we do have eight officers and let's see, let's see who we have. Look at this. 104, 100, 96, 98, 85, 96. So we're going to get all of his best guys. Now, we don't have a, a guys that are really high in, in politics, but we'll have enough to build this up pretty quickly. And uh, that's my time for now. I just wanted to give you this quick little video. Hopefully you found it, uh, if nothing else, interesting. And you can, you can do that for any one of the tribes. Um, so if you wanted to start in a scenario where you're down south here and taking over this area, you can. If you wanted to start a scenario where you're taking over this area up here in the northwest, and this will work for any one of the scenarios, the first three scenarios. Um, the one thing that changes in the fourth scenario is the northeast tribe is gone and the you get a southeast tribe or southwest that gets... Uh, these six or seven cities so hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching um i'll holler back at you as well too because i got another video where i'm playing as uh Liu Bei from a different scenario uh and i made some pretty good progress with that as well too but that's uh, a full tutorial anyway take care guys